My name is Elvis DeMotney. Uh, I'm with the Prairies to Windland Woodland Master Apprentice Program. Um, this is my first year in it, and um, uh, it's a really uh, excellent program. Um, from where I started from, as far as uh, Métis, uh, Michif language and uh, cultural backgrounds and stuff, uh, I've come a long way within the first four months. Uh, it is a really good program, and I am probably going to, I am definitely going to take it for the next two to two years and see how far that goes from there. In the program, um, basically, uh, it's an everyday thing that we do. Um, we always try and find activities that we do, like doing the laundry, um, going out for coffee, going to a grocery store, anything basically that we can um, get from English to Michif. Um, we're always talking, as we're doing it, we're always talking just straight Michif. Um, usually there's no English involved. Um, and then when we go back to class time, we'll review everything that we've gone over. Um, it's not always set straight. You know, we're always doing something different just to make sure that we're keeping it uh, interesting, basically, as well, while we're learning and while we're teaching. Um, I think, if anything, um, it's just basically just... Uh, in order to learn Michif language and in order to actually get a perfect understanding of everything that actually has to come to involve with it, you actually have to just do basic activities, day-to-day -day things or whatever, um, uh, whether it's being just visiting your elder or your mom or your stepdad or whoever it may be and just sit there and just talk back and forth with just Michif. Um, at first you won't understand but once you do actually get it, it it becomes easier and you actually have a lot more fun just uh, going back and forth so I think uh, if anything that's probably the mo ma main and most important thing about it. Also music as well too is uh, is a really good form of uh, getting out the uh, Métis and Michif uh, cultural and language and everything like that. Uh, I am a singer-songwriter as well. I have been for probably about 25 years or so, um, if not more. Uh, right now, I'm kind of in the process of um, translating a few songs and poems as well. Um, the songs, basically, I, trans I translate word for word and then basically I try and sing them. So sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But I still try every day and I think that's important for everybody to do. All right, there really um, is no dictionary uh, that's per se a standardized dictionary as far as Michif language goes. Uh, my mother and I, when we're doing the program, we talk about this and, and all the time we talk about uh, going back and forth and uh, because I would like to look or look up new words. Um, and then a lot of the times I normally, what I would get is I, don't, I can't find a Michif word for it. But yet, um, they didn't actually have steady set words as far as a English dictionary or a standardized dictionary would go. Um, what they did was, is for every word that they didn't actually have a word for, they combined words. So in other words, they would say, um, if they wanted to say to get something, they would have a combined word. Um, or if they wanted something or whatever, it would be the way it hum, and it would be like uh, two combined words, basically kind of like the same thing. Um, we've actually talked about this, and I've actually, uh, with some of the words, I kind of invent my own words or whatever, um, uh, in piasorama, so that would be dollarama kind of style or whatever, because they never actually had those words back in the day. Um, a lot of the new words that are out today or whatever, uh, they never had those back in the day as well. Um, so therefore, they didn't have an actual name for it. The future has already started as far as uh, Michif language goes. Um, if you look online or if you look in, uh, you can probably get them in any app store, uh, Google Play Store or anything like that. Um, you can get uh, Michif app di uh, dictionaries, and what'll, what they will do is they, can, they will uh, allow you to input uh, English words, and they'll allow you to give um, Michif words back. Only problem is, though, is they're not standardized. So therefore, 
what will be maybe a one word to one, it may be a little bit different to another as far as um, as far as uh, it being whether it being a group word or it being actually a single word uh, type style or whatever. Um, but I do believe that in 10 years, they're actually going to be probably pretty close to standardizing it and it's going to be available for everybody to use. Uh, I do believe the younger generation will actually get a lot. Um, the younger generation as we go or whatever, if we even get one person, um, one younger person that's going to be learning at least two to three words within a, a week, a month or whatever, it's still progress and um, in 10 years I think if we even get a few people, we'll grow from there. Um, by the time 10 years comes though, I do believe that uh, I will be ready for that and uh, go from there.